hi everyone it's angelique also known as the light welcome to my channel click like on this video subscribe stay a while you will not regret it if you like spiritual experience videos uh chosen one videos um i do have some narcissism videos up on this channel i don't do them anymore but they're here for your educational purposes um yeah i'm gonna have some commentary on this channel as well all right um what else that's about it let's get right into the topic um and this is about chosen ones and why these people um when they no longer have the access to you why the hell they freak out okay and it took me a long time to figure out i could not figure it out because a lot of these people they mistreated you they don't they don't appreciate you they belittle you they say what they want to you like they were crazy and it took some of y'all some time. Um, I know a lot of chosen ones could be passive aggressive <laughs> or just passive. And you didn't stick up for yourself back in the day. But today you are a lot more comfortable in your being. So now you peep more, right? Now you, you did your shadow work. You did your healing work. You're on your path, right? And you're noticing when you start spending more time with yourself, spending more time with God, your creator, whatever you may believe in. When you do your shadow work, you do your healing work, when you start cleaning up, right? You start hanging out with people who are more like you or you start going into isolation, you're in your hermit mode, whichever direction you're going in, you're focused on yourself. You don't have that time to be putting out all your business so a lot of times the reason why these people keep coming back even the ones who treated you like crap or still trying to treat you like crap is because they don't have the access anymore they literally feel they was feeding off of your energy okay same thing with narcissists sociopaths or whatever in their mind they always had you under their control so now that and some of some of the sometimes they did sometimes they did they would they they were uh what they called shit testing right so the whole entire time that y'all had a relationship right or you had a romantic relationship friendship it could be your parents whoever they know that they did certain things to you and they know your reaction and how you were before but you're not like that anymore okay now, if somebody comes at you, you actually say something in return, right? Someone does something to you. Someone owes you money or, you know, somebody um, is sneak dissing you. You actually say something. You don't, you stick up for yourself now, right? And now, little by little, what happens is you don't, you don't want to be around them anymore. You, your spirit knows this is not my tribe. This is not my lover. This is not my parent. This is not my friend. This is not my siblings. You have nothing in, in, um, you have nothing to compare to these people. You have nothing in common, right? And then you start to drift. They feel it spiritually first. They are basically looking at you going, oh, hell no. Uh, uh, uh. excuse me. Hell no, uh-uh-uh, get back in your box, get back in the box that I created for you. What are you doing uh, making more money than me? What are you doing, you have a better man or woman than me? What are you doing driving a better car than me? What are you doing with a car? You need to be on a bus or driving or walking or, or, or on the bus. What are you doing? You have more than me? Oh, no, 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 you can't, you can't have more than me. This is where... All of a sudden, they go bat shit crazy. They start calling your phone. They start texting you. They need to know what's going on with you. And what happens is, when you really in your alignment, you're not going to be on social media. You're not going to be, <coughs> excuse me, you're not going to be on social media posting things all the time, posting all your business, posting a whole bunch of photos. You're not going to be venting like you used to on social media. You don't show up to the family events. You don't show up to all the parties anymore. You're doing you. They don't have surveillance on your life like they thought they did. They don't have it. They don't have the access anymore. They also notice that the things when they uh, used to do certain things to you, you actually gave back the energy. So sometimes you might have cursed them out. Or you might have um, not cursed them out, but 
you showed emotion. Now you're not showing emotion. That's pissing them off because in their mind, they had control over you. You have to understand the reason why they wanted control over you because they can see your light. They know like this person is basically you're better than them. They know that you're a better human being. <laughs> you have more light, more control. No matter what you went through, you got through it. No matter what you went through, even the things that they put you through, you survived. Your lover, your mama, your daddy, everybody did you dirty and you still looking good. Your skin is looking good. You looking fly. You looking fresh. They can't figure that out. They're going like, dang, no matter what this person went through, look at them. <laughs> That's really what it is. That's why they want to be around you. But it's like a, a love-hate relationship that they have with you. So... They admire your light. They wish they had that light. They wish they had your swag. They wish they had your spiritual covering, right? So they keep you around just to watch you. But at the same time, they have to, they have the need and urge to stomp your light out. You get it? You, you can try to say. Um, and I go through this a lot. I'm going through this a lot right now. So there are relatives who did me dirty okay did me dirty and they this is why they don't support you excuse me i don't know why i'm birthing like that <laughs> this is why they don't support you um because if they stay in their mind it's like well if i support him or her they're gonna surpass me okay so they're not you know, I had relatives who didn't even buy my poetry book. I have a poetry book on Amazon, right? They didn't buy my poetry book, but they'll go spend money, thousands of dollars on BS, right? Uh, they didn't show up when I was uh, performing my poetry. They didn't support me. They didn't uh, share my businesses, right? I had to call them and say, hey, did you buy from my t-shirt company? No, no, I didn't get to it yet. They'll never support you, but when it's like a stranger, they'll go and they'll they'll support those strangers, right? But when but it's funny though, when they are doing something, they rush to tell you. I have relatives who they never hit me up to say, "Hey, how you doing, um, Angelique? Are you okay? How's life?" They'll text me randomly and be like, "Yeah, I just bought a house." Huh? We haven't talked in like a year. Why are you texting me? telling you bought a house they want your approval they want you to know hey man, 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 man. i'm up on one than you i'm doing good i'm up on one but they don't realize you don't care but they don't know what's going on in your life they're in competition with you because they know you first of all they already lost the competition because spiritual wealth is true wealth on this planet and they don't have it if, if you really was beneath them, why would they even be trying to hit you up? Think about it. Why would they want your attention? Why are they texting you to say, hey, I just got a new job and I don't even talk. Hey, I, I, I'm getting married, but uh, yeah, I can't send you an invitation to the wedding though. It's really about trying to have one up on you because they already know you already won you already won the fight you you're already better than them you're better than them already and they know that but they don't know <laughs> chosen ones they don't know that we are aware of this maybe before you weren't aware of it but now that you're really in your alignment and you finally listening to your ancestors you listening to god you listening to your spirit guys and you have your spiritual discernment on lock it's it's funny it's entertainment they only come back around to surveillance your life to see hmm let me see is she really doing good is he doing good because i can't have them doing better than me after all they went through and they still standing after all I try to put them through, they're still doing better than me. Could you imagine that? That's why those abusive husbands and wives try to come back and kill you. Because it's like, I beat your ass. 
I done took you through hell and you still, you're, you're good. You're alive. You went and got your own place. My kids are good. Uh-uh, I was supposed to kill you off. This is why they're going to stalk your social media. So be careful what you post on your social media. These people, these family members, even your own parents, your own siblings. And it's weird. I get the weirdest, I get the weirdest texts. Okay? Matter of fact, I don't even care anymore. My own sibling, I do not like him. I have love for him, but I do not like him. We do not speak. We don't have a relationship. I've only stayed cordial for many, many years so I could have a relationship with my niece. We don't have a relationship. He couldn't tell me my favorite color. He couldn't tell me my favorite artist. He does not know anything about me or anything that's going on in my life. Randomly, he'll text me and say, hey, I sold a house. Okay, congrats. And that's the thing about it because they remember you when you were a child or when they were with, when you were in a relationship with them they remember that you used to coddle them they remember that they used to get a uh, light and motivation from you because back then when they would tell you certain things you'd be like oh my gosh i'm so happy for you you oh uh, you go boy you go girl you don't do that anymore because you don't feel nothing for them because you know who they are you know who's who now. I have people hit me up and say, oh, I got the Rona. Okay, hope you feel better. And I don't feel guilty about that. I don't feel nothing. Because when I was laying up in the hospital, these people didn't even care. This is weird. This is the same person that let me lay up in the hospital by myself after surgery. And didn't even come check on me. But they'll say, hey, I'm going into a procedure. Why are you telling? I don't get it. You're going to get the weirdest text messages. Is to regain your spiritual energy. To get some type of um, reaction from you. They're going to be stunned. They're going to be shocked. I get text message. Oh, I have Rona. Oh, my, my son's, my, my relative died. Oh, I got fired. Oh, I'm sick. Oh, um, my child is sick. Oh, um, I'm doing this and doing that at work. I don't care. I do not care. Ignore these people who left you. They left you out there to die. Literally, physically, sometimes, spiritually, they left you to die. Okay? When you were down, they still was trying to drain you of your light. But they're going to come back because they know you re-up. Chosen ones have, we, we create light quick. We are spiritual um, light, okay? We can be down, depressed, and be up again. You know, some people can't do that. Some people cannot do that. Some people are taking themselves out because they, they don't know how to transmute that negative energy, that depression. They don't know what to do with those mental illnesses. They don't, they can't transmute that. But us, they'd be like, dang, you not, I saw someone, uh, <laughs> I saw a guy, I'm 38. And I think I dated him when I was 18. And when I saw him, he said, you look exactly the same from like 10 years ago. And I just laughed. We don't even age the same, guys. Okay? We don't age the same. They, and they're wondering, how are they even looking that good? How? I left them for dead. And a lot of times they won't come back around because you're, you, you're shining and they know. They know. They can see the difference. They can smell. They're like, nope. Mm-mm. He or she is not the same. They're not going to let me back in. But ignore them. All right? These people go bad shit crazy when they don't have access to your life, your light, your information. They go crazy. 
because a lot of you be confused y'all be like why is this person who treated me like crap trying to return why you think you weren't you weren't the problem they were the problem because they wanted to abuse you and use you and they liked it when they thought you did not know what you wanted to do with your life they liked it when they thought you had low self-esteem they liked it when they felt you had no direction they they loved it when you had nowhere to go you had no home you had nowhere to stay you know when my grandmother passed away my sibling said to me oh you better go find a place to live now A real sibling would have said, do you need a place to stay? Or do you need some money? Do you need a job application? Do you need a ride somewhere? Do you need some water? Do you need some food? He was happy that he thought I was about to be homeless. That I actually became a homeowner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They love to see you doing bad. They love it. All right. So sometimes if they do see y'all doing bad through social media or they heard it through the grapevine, they know somebody who knows someone who knows somebody who know you uh, and they're trying to get information on you. That's why a lot of them come back. I get I get and I'm not, and I'm not impressed by this. I'm not. I've gotten emails from people from 10, 13 years ago. I've gotten uh, DMs. Don't even know how from some some random accounts. With no picture on it. Oh my goodness, Angie, I miss you so much. Please, can I be your friend? Can I come back in your life? I was willing to do anything. Hell no. Hell no. Don't even get in. Don't even get your ego self involved with that. But that is why they go batshit crazy, because they thought you were going to survive. Okay, it's almost like they rolled over your ass with their car. It's like, yep, she's dead. And the next thing you know, they see you coming with the cast. And you all bandaged up. And they're like, this F ain't dead yet. They loved it. They loved it when you were when you were down and out. And they can just use you for your light. I'm telling you, you better get cold. I don't care. You sick? So-and-so died? Oh, my regards. You sick? God bless. I hope you feel better. Bless you. Straight face. And I don't feel guilty. Because these are people, most of these people that come back around, they left you for dead. They left you for dead. So don't feel no kind of way. They don't love you. They love, they love your energy. They love your light. They love taking from you. They love abusing you. All right, chosen ones, be careful. But this is why they go batshit crazy because they've lost, they feel they lost control over your uh, your spiritual light and they can't no longer use you. So when they don't have the access to surveillance you, when they don't have the access to get to you, all right? I have people calling my phone, calling my phone, calling my phone, trying to get me through WhatsApp, trying to trying to video uh, video um, message me on Instagram. I ignore it. I don't owe you anything. You don't owe anyone your energy. But chosen ones have a very powerful uh, spiritual light. We have a very we have very powerful energy. So use your energy wisely. And who you let have access to you. Because if not, you don't have a lot of psychopaths on your hand. I'm telling you. <laughs> well, you got to be stern. I'm very stern now. I do not care. I care and love and share my energy with those who love and care for me as well. Yes, we do great things for, you know, people uh, God leads us to do for like you know I'll give money to homeless people or you know something like that where my spirit leads me to help or do something nice or I give uh, clothing away or 
It can be anything. You know, I'm not talking about that, but I'm talking about the people who left you for dead, people who don't respect you. They just want access to you. <laughs> they go crazy. I'm going to tell you a quick story before I go. I used to be friends with my aunt's best friend. So my aunt passed away back in 1996 when she was 40 years old. She had a brain aneurysm. She passed away. And um, the house I lived in is a house that she grew up in with my father and my uncle, right? So she had a best friend who lived next door to her. And that woman happened to still live next door, even though I was living in this house. And she's, of course, way older. So around this time, she might have been like 50 years old around this time, I'll say. Yeah. So... Yeah, because my aunt died when I was about 12 or 13. So, top 10 years on that. Yes, yeah, so I'm about maybe 23 or something like that. But anyway, doesn't matter about the age. Um, she befriended me, basically. It was just like taking me on like a daughter. She has a daughter who actually is about three years older than me, but her daughter went away to school I believe she was at Stanford at the time and um yeah so we got really really close <laughs> but not close in a I didn't look at her as a mother I looked at her more like I guess you could say like more like a big sister friend or whatever I respected her because she was my elder but this woman latched on to me and it was really scary it was very, very scary when this woman latched on to me. And at the time, I was in medical assistant school, and I wouldn't stay at home. I would stay in Long Island with a friend because um, my school that I attended was in Long Island. I live in Queens. And I wouldn't even be home, so she would be blowing up my phone and, you know, texting me and calling me. And this is a woman in her 50s, and I'm like, what is going on? This is very weird. And uh, when my friends would say, oh, there go your girlfriend calling because it was so, it was so bad. You know, people, when you're children, when they want ownership of your energy. And I was like, we really never talked about much. I would do her hair because I still did hair back then. You know, we would go out to dinner. And she would, you know, um, make her run her errands. I would go with her. We really didn't do much. I really didn't share much with her because it was such a huge, you know, age difference, basically. So, uh, eventually, I just stopped answering all her calls. And one day, I happened to be home, and I was walking to the store, and I walked by her gate, and I said hello to her. I had no idea that she even had an issue with me because I'm just living my life, right? And uh, I didn't realize how you have to be very careful who you give your energy to. And I said, hi. Like, I was happy to see her. I didn't think that she had any beef with me. And um, she happened to be on the phone. And I said, hey, you know, let's call her. Let's call her uh, Crystal, whatever. So I said, hey, Crystal, how are you? And she was just like, you know what? You acting real funny. You're real funny. I don't like that. I don't like people like you. You act real funny, style. And I was, this is a woman in her 50s. I go, huh? So I was just like, she was like, yeah, I've been calling you. You don't answer your phone. You act really funny, style. I don't like dealing with people like you. You mad funny, style. You're fake. You're fake. And I was like, huh? I'm in my head like I'm fake because I'm living my life. I'm in my 20s. You're in your 50s. I don't even be home. I'm in medical assistant school five days a week focusing on my studies. And I'm acting funny style. I actually had a boyfriend at the time. I was so confused, guys. All right. These people will go crazy over your energy. And if they can't control you and have access to you, they lose it. They lose it. Keep in mind, I already had spent so much time with this woman. 
but because she couldn't control me and she couldn't have that access to me. Um, so I guess I was very mature even in my early 20s. So I stopped and I looked at her and I said, would you like to discuss this? Would you like to talk about this? And I think my calmness shocked her. <laughs> and she said, yeah, 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 I would like to talk about it, but not today. We never talked about it at all. Um, you know, we used to have a tenant in my home and unfortunately he passed away. So the next time I saw her, I saw her at his funeral and she came up to me and she said, oh, I want to apologize to you. Uh, I felt like I needed you because my daughter was away. I didn't have anyone to latch on to. So, you know, these people will do that. People will latch on to you spiritually. You know, I said, I forgive you. We never were close after that because that was some crazy stuff. <laughs> but this happens. People uh, get very attached to me. I've even had subscribers do that, you know, who, who try to be friendly and want to be, you know, want to latch on to my spirit. And I get it, you know. But you have to be very careful in who you share your spirit with, your energy with. And I'm very particular and chosen ones. Please be particular with your light because it's so powerful. It's, it's a godly light. Chosen ones, you have a godly light. It's an anointing on your spirit, okay? But <laughs> that's my story. Um, but this is why they come back around. They come back around for surveillance. They come back around to use you again <laughs> spiritually. And because it's shocked. How are you not dead? I left you dead, okay? All right. If anybody wants to book a phone session with me, they could talk about spiritual experiences, how you can start your healing journey, narcissism, friendship, romantic relationships, anything you want to talk about, we can talk about. You need healing, uh, help with starting your healing journey or your spiritual journey. I'm your girl. You just need someone to vent to. I'm your girl, okay? Um, the only thing I would say, if you're thinking about taking your own life, I would suggest that you contact a, a hotline, okay? Um, because that is some heavy stuff that I'm not willing to um, handle, all right? Um, yeah. That's, that's some really heavy spiritual stuff that I'm spiritually not willing to handle, okay? So that's the only thing that I don't want to discuss, pretty much, all right? Uh, yes, you know, if you want to donate to me, you can do so. Um, the more donations I get, the more content I pump out, all right? I still have a very, very small subscription, and that is why if I had thousands and thousands or millions of subscriptions then i would never ask for donations okay but that was what pays my bills okay <laughs> all right guys i'll be doing more videos soon take care protect your energy and your light peace and blessings love and light